on a diet devoid of animal foods, vegan, plant-based, fairy boy, whatever you'd like to call it, there are specific arguments that vegans bring up to counter any reason to eat animal foods, protein being one of them. We won't discuss the other arguments today, but it's important to note that many aspects of health and nutrition are purposefully ignored. The less people know, the more you can trick them. The loose idea is that a vegan diet doesn't have enough protein compared to someone consuming animal foods. Vegans debunk this by explaining that different plant foods have different amino acid profiles, and by diversifying your plant-based food choices, you can get all of the amino acids your body needs. You know, eat this quinoa, eat this brown rice, eat this soy BS until you grow tits, then you'll get your protein in. This implies that by consuming something that has a measured nutrient, your body is absorbing it, but the paper value of a food isn't what your body gets. If that was true, we wouldn't be pooping at all because we'd absorb all of it, right? And it does seem suspicious that vegans bring this argument up to debunk it. Any argument that vegans want to talk about, they tend to bring it up themselves as opposed to it being an organic discussion. Before we jump into the science and mechanisms in the body, we can just disregard this anecdotally. You don't have to look far to see the muscle wasting aspects of a vegan diet. You don't have to look far to see the positive body composition changes when someone goes carnivore, consumes more animal protein. I haven't done any ex-vegan interviews in a while, but the ones years ago on my channel demonstrate Every single person that goes vegan to just omnivore, let alone carnivore, putting on 10 to 15 pounds of lean body mass simply by eating meat again. If the vegan diet had enough protein, why do 99% of vegans look like decaying, corpse, ghoulish, goblin-like zombies? If the vegan diet had enough protein, why do all of the vegan bodybuilders need to chug down gallons of plant-based nonsense protein powder and inject their tushies with vegan testosterone made from yams? For them, it's not about looking healthy or being natural. It's about being vegan, saving the animals, and pushing the agenda they've been brainwashed into in any way possible. In order to understand why plant protein doesn't cut it, we have to look at how muscle is built in the first place. What we're trying to answer is if a vegan diet can build muscle tissue. And muscle building is referred to as anabolism. I'm sure you guys have heard of gym bros drinking protein shakes after their workout so they don't go catabolic, remaining in an anabolic metabolism. Thing is, Anabolic pathways use ATP that is produced by catabolic pathways. These two catabolic pathways are the citric acid cycle, aka the Krebs cycle, and the urea cycle. A vegan diet does not provide your body with the nutrients required to run these two pathways in a proper metabolic state. So at the top here, right off the bat, we see that a vegan diet would be lacking in fat and protein. A lack of fatty acids in the diet impairs glycolysis, therefore interfering with acetyl coenzyme A metabolism. A lack of protein impairs pyruvate metabolism, acetyl coenzyme A metabolism, the citric acid cycle, and the urea cycle. Each of these molecules are crucial for energy metabolism as well as processing amino acids, ultimately determining energy capacity, muscle building, and recovery capability. So the citric acid cycle and urea cycle are clearly compromised on a vegan diet simply due to the lack of fat and protein. And these two cycles are also required for amino acid metabolism, therefore that becomes compromised as well. The citric acid cycle is where our body synthesizes amino acids using pyruvate and acetyl coenzyme A. Your body needs fats and protein to make acetyl coenzyme A, but since a vegan diet depends on the citric acid cycle for specific amino acid needs, they don't have the proper input, the amino acids, to start the citric acid cycle. The waste product of these amino acids is ammonia, which is highly toxic, and therefore it needs to be converted into urea via the urea cycle to be excreted by the kidneys. Problem is that this urea cycle requires acetyl coenzyme A as well as glutamate, and we know acetyl coenzyme A production is abysmal on a vegan diet, and glutamate isn't typically high in plant foods, nor is it something vegans are talking about. On top of this, Plant-based proteins like soy and wheat are more readily converted to urea as opposed to animal-based proteins. Kind of funny how the vegans are always saying that animal meat rots in your stomach, whatever. Well, plant protein rots in your body and turns to ammonia. How about that one? Now, the urea cycle isn't only for removing ammonia. 
It's needed to recycle precursor molecules for the citric acid cycle, including amino acids. In addition to this, the vegan diet is lacking in vitamins needed for proper methylation, resulting in high circulating homocysteine levels, homocysteine being another amino acid, stressing the urea cycle even further. These metabolic cycles are limited so much on a vegan diet, it becomes obvious why vegan athletes fall completely apart after being vegan for just a few months. Novak Djokovic, Serena Williams, Cam Newton, their performance drops, and the reason they get injured is because their bodies cannot recover from workouts effectively, they don't have the amino acids to build their muscles, and when your muscles are strained, they're more prone to injury. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to metabolic pathways that require predominantly animal-based nutrients. We haven't even scraped 1% of the issues that involve other mechanisms in our body. One anecdotal example of vegans trying to counter the inhibition of these pathways is the injection of that synthetic testosterone, aka steroids. By doing this, you're removing the need for acetyl coenzyme A in steroid hormone production. It's arguable taking testosterone on a vegan diet is necessary. Same with vitamin B12 shots. You're taking massive amounts of stress off the urea cycle, off the methylation cycle when using these supplements. So instead of consuming natural foods and allowing your body's natural pathways to do their thing, they inject stuff into their bodies. If these vegan clowns understood human metabolism as well as I did, they would have a few more dozen supplements they could be selling and might actually perform better. I've even done past videos on what supplements vegans should take, far more information than any vegan on YouTube has ever provided or offered, but until Frankie Boy goes vegan, the clown circus show will continue. It's just crazy and ridiculous that I even have to explain why a vegan diet isn't healthy. The burden of proof should be on the vegans and it's blatantly clear anything that comes out of their mouth is parroted nonsense. At the end of the day, it's comically stupid to even consider this diet for any human being for any reason. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this is a video you can share to pressure vegans to come up with some more lies to pad their nonsense diet. So if you guys could please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, as well as share this on social media if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, you know how to do so down in the description. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.